go. Hey guys, I want to make a video about a masculine man, being a masculine man in today's world where you have to be honest, uh, and I'm certainly not being extreme in any way, but the messaging is over and over is, is sort of men are bad, or uh, men, uh, masculinity is under attack. And it's not fake, it's real. I see it, I'm a sensitive, uh, sentient man, and I see it, and I feel it. And I see it in all the guys from all over the world that I work with, they're getting this messaging that something's, you know, just their, just the way that they are is bad. Just who they were born, you know, that they have a penis is bad because somehow, um, supposedly, they do all bad things all the time. And it's just not true. And I know firsthand that men are amazing human beings and so are women. And uh, they're not these ogres that are being painted and they're not the root of all evil by any means. Uh, so how can I be a masculine man which is very important, by the way, in being um, creating a polarization with a feminine woman, which most men that I've met are actually really drawn to. They're not actually drawn to masculine women. Uh, all of us have masculine and feminine traits inside of us. All of us do. All of us. Uh, men and women and everybody. And that's great. Embrace them all. Embody them all. Don't, you don't have to stamp things down and things like that. You can just be who you are and, and express it. But let me just say a couple things now, and I will go into this much deeper because it's a serious thing in our society now. Uh, a man leads. He takes risks. It's masculine to take risks. It's masculine to lead. And it's masculine to have a purpose in your life. And focus in on that purpose, nurture it, cultivate it, and put it out into the world. Whatever that is. You can see mine right before you. But there's so many billions of things you can have a purpose on. But what is your purpose? A man tunes into that. And it's not just meeting women. It's not just connecting with women. It's not just uh, having a relationship, although that's a very important purpose. It's like, what is this thing that you're not cultivating, that you're not expressing? yourself that needs to go out into the world and that thing is something you're usually afraid of that thing is something that usually seems like there's some resistance around it that you have to break through that thing is that thing you have to take a risk and the more you lead your own life the more you lead your own life by your interest and passions and you share you learn to share that with others around you the more attractive you become the more masculine you become you know uh, being a beta male, so to speak, there's like an alpha male and a beta male. I don't really like to use those terms, but they are, there is something to them. Let's just say the beta male is Mr. Nice Guy. Mr. Nice Guy thinks he's great, and you see it all over here in New York. There's tons of these guys. And basically the idea is, is I'm Mr. Nice Guy, and why is he doing that? Because he thinks he's going to get the girl doing that. So in a way it becomes more feminized, less masculine, just because the messaging is, is uh, this guy's bad. Um, but the reality is, is women who are really in tune with themselves, beyond anger, beyond this messaging, are not drawn to this guy. And, and even in all this messaging, at the end of the day, we are part of nature. And nature dictates that uh, a feminine woman's attracted to a masculine man. And the problem with the beta male or Mr. Nice Guy is very simple. He's not nice, he's not a good person, he's a little liar. And he's basically lying to himself about who he is and his own needs and his own wants and his own desires, which is a bad start right there. You've already lost the game, by the way. But then he's actually lying to her, even if he doesn't think he is, uh, to get with her. But he rarely ever does. And if he does get with her, what happens is she dominates him, she steps on him, she over him and then she resents him for that she hates him for that and she she gets rid of him and she blames it on him and she should because uh, maybe you didn't know this but now you do a masculine man takes every single risk from hello to William every single risk from hello to uh, to creating a physical conversation with her wherein the two of you can turn that into a romantic relationship that's what a masculine man does and a masculine man leads his own life by his interests and passions and he leads her into his life filled with interests and passions. John Keegan, theawakenlifestyle.com. Come on man, there's tons of videos here. I'm here for the time being. If you want live coaching, let me know.